Just look at that view, guys. Man, that is so nice. It's a little hazy back here, but a little bit of uh, snow up there. A little bit of snow, a little bit. Today is a day. I'm gonna finally do this video. This video is like, supposed to have been done like six months ago. I'm not even joking. Like I was supposed to do this video like six months ago when I had my Chevy, and I'm talking about my white Chevy. So I forgot to do it. So in this video, we're gonna do it. So if you have a Chevy or GMC, you're gonna love this video because there's probably a few things you don't know about these trucks. And let's go ahead and go through it. I love the new refresh for these pickups. They have a lot of nice features. And some of you guys have been asking about some of it. So let's go ahead and start off with the biggest thing that people did not know you could do with these trucks, which I thought was pretty crazy because I figured it out on my first GM product that I bought, which was the mirrors. So if you have, power folding mirrors on your truck. You can actually set it up with your key. Now let's go ahead and grab the keys out because I want to show you guys the animations here. So uh, I won't be able to do it together, but I just dropped my key too, by the way. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do the GMC first. So you guys see the mirrors, they come out. You have the animations on the headlights. Pretty cool. Now when it's dark, it'll actually turn on the projectors individually and then it'll turn on the other lights, which is really cool. Now the Chevy does the exact same thing. You have those animations. And LTZ, because it has the power folding mirrors, you can actually set it up with the key. Let me show you guys how to do that on the Chevy. All you have to do is go in through your menu, find the settings, and when you go to vehicle, you'll see that it'll have comfort and convenience. So basically all you have to do is hit remote mirror folding. You check this and it's done. I want to make sure it was the exact same for the GMC and it is. So you just have to go through settings, comfort and convenience and boom, you have it right there. And the mirrors pretty much work the exact same. So if you lock the door with the key, it'll basically put them in for you. So that's the one thing I do like about these trucks is that they give you that option. I think Ford gives it to you, but Ram does not. Now, one thing to note, if you hit the power fold button on the inside, it does not work with the key to unfold them. So just keep that in mind, because sometimes you might think, oh, something's wrong with the truck or something happened or whatever, I don't know. So I just wanna make sure that you knew that. So up next, let's talk about the home menu. And this is gonna be the exact same for both trucks, so I'm not gonna show it to you on the GMC. So here we go. Let me go ahead and start it up, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So here's basically your home menu, okay? This has a docking station. Now, one thing that I did was when I got this truck, I noticed that I really needed to use my backup camera because I move a trailer for our church every Sunday morning. And it's nice to have the camera already in here because I always like to see just how far I am when I'm making a U-turn with that trailer, how close I am to coming into contact. So as you guys just saw, you can basically put things into this menu. You can move things up like that. If you wanna have your Apple CarPlay in here, if you wanna have your trailering in here, Let's just say you, you want your settings in here. You can set it up just like that. I don't put the maps in here because after a month, you have to pay for the navigation, which is another video, which sucks. So I don't even have this on my docking station here. Now, obviously, and I'm sure I've shown this to you guys a lot, but you can also move things around in here. So yeah, that's another nice feature that this has. So you can do that for GMC and Chevy. I know a lot of guys hate the four chimes. This chime is not as annoying, but give me five years, I'm gonna hate this one just as much as I hate the Fords. So, if you don't like that sound, you can't disable it, but, but there is an option here. Go to vehicle under settings, and all you have to do is go to comfort and convenience. Go to chime volume, and you can actually lower the sound. Now they don't allow you to go any lower, which sucks, but you can actually lower how loud it is. Now you can go as loud as you want, 
Oh my gosh, that is too loud. But they only allow you to go down so much, which kind of stinks. Now I'm pretty sure at some point, they will have, or an aftermarket company will have a way to disable this all together, which would be nice. My Chevy does not have this option, but my GMC does. You see right here? I always talk about this in my review videos. I say the trucks have the cameras with the sprayer. Well, how do you actually turn that sprayer on? First things first, let's go ahead and turn the camera on up front so you guys can see. Now, all you have to do, do you guys see right? Hopefully you can see in between the spoke here, right there. So I'm gonna push this button. You see that? So when you do the windshield wiper um, spray, it does automatically turn on the one for the sprayer for the camera as well. And there you go. You can see some of the water down there. And now the camera is a lot cleaner. So where are my key losers at in the comment section? I'm a key loser for sure. Actually, I think my wife loses my keys and then she blames it on me because she moves everything of mine and I always tell her to leave my stuff alone. And if she watches this video, I'm probably gonna be on the couch whenever I post the video. But nevertheless, I typically will leave my keys in my truck because I forget that they're in there. So whenever you leave your keys in the Chevys, one thing I like about them, actually, let me turn this truck off. It's in accessory mode. All right, so if you leave your key in here like that, the truck always makes the annoying beep sound, right? But let's just say you're home for a few days and you don't drive your truck and now you gotta go out and darn, you don't know where your key is. And you go to the truck, the truck's unlocked, but maybe the key fell between the seats, you forgot about the beeping sound when you got out of the truck, whatever. It will tell you right there, key left in vehicle. I love that they do that because sometimes you just need to know, is that key in this truck? So that way you're not going around the truck looking for it and it's not in here. So I do like that Chevy does that. I don't know if any other manufacturer does that. But yeah, once you leave the key in there once and walk away again, actually it will still tell you. So it'll continue to keep telling you, key left in the vehicle. Yes, every time, I like that. See, I thought I only told you one time, but it tells you as many times as you open the door. Here's a good feature for the people who tow trailers, whether it be conventional, gooseneck, fifth wheel, this will work the same. I'm gonna use my GMC for this illustration only because my dually does not have the camera above the bed and I wanna show that one to you guys on my GMC. So, truck's on already, obviously. Let's just say you're backing up to your trailer, right? You're backing up like this. Let's just say it's fifth wheel gooseneck and we're gonna to go to the bed view camera, right there. Now, once you start backing up, right? When you go to put it in park, nothing happens as you guys just saw. So let's go back to that again. Bad view camera. Now if you're backing up and you zoom in like this, but watch what happens when you put it in the park again. So you saw that just now, the parking brake blinked one time and now the parking brake is on. So in the past when I had my first GM product, I did not know how to use that system because sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work because I didn't always use my cameras to hook up to my fifth wheel. So whenever it didn't work, I was like, oh, this GM, truck is broken. That's what I always think in my head, but actually it's not broken. It's just, I'm an idiot. And you have to zoom in to that um, coupler for it to actually work. So that was something I did not know. Now I'm gonna show you guys something really quickly. This is like a little quirk that I like about this truck. Whenever you turn on the fan, if you're needing more air, do you see how it spins this little guy there? Now if you need less right there, it'll actually spin the smaller one on that side. That's something that was really cool that I noticed like a few days ago. You guys are gonna laugh at me on this next point. I used to think that GM trucks did not have accessory modes because every time I would push the button twice, nothing would happen, it would just turn the truck back off. And so I did not find out that these trucks had accessory modes until I traded in my first GMC Sierra AT4. Let me show you guys what you have to do in order to get the accessory mode to come on. The only reason why I figured out how to do this was because I was doing my fuel filter change for that GMC truck and I literally 
did not know how to prime the engine. So all you have to do is hold this down for about three seconds. And then it turns it into accessory mode. Every other manufacturer, you push the button two times and you're in accessory mode. Not GM. They decided, nope, we're gonna just make you hold that button for three seconds. Now, personally, either way is fine, but it is a long hold. It's like three to four seconds long. It's pretty long in my opinion. That was something that I did not know until I did the fuel filters on my first GM. Did you guys notice my new back cover that I told you I would never buy again from GM? Well, I bought another one. The first time I bought this, they didn't give me directions and I was so mad because it took me like two hours to figure out how to do it that I said I would never buy another one. But because I already did it, it took me like 30 minutes, so I bought another one. So there you go. Now, this wasn't part of my points, but if you have the Multi Pro or Multi Flex tailgate, if you push these two buttons together, it will basically drop down together. And most guys know it, but I figured I'd just show it to you really quickly. Okay? Now, Here's another thing that people are gonna like. Power deployable running boards. If you have them, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm gonna show it to you. If you have these, and let's just say you're at a car wash or you're washing your truck, and you don't want them to go up, right? If you step on it like this, they will stay down for you. You can do it on both sides, and it does not damage the motor, blah, 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 blah. It's completely fine. It's actually a safety thing that they add into these things. So, also, if you go into your settings, and you go into vehicle, so right now I'm in settings, you go to vehicle like this, and then you scroll all the way down to where you see power assist steps, you can actually turn them off. If I did not have a wife and kids, they would never come down. They would always be in that position. But because I have a wife and kids, well, I keep them on because I can get out of the truck pretty darn easily. Now, if you don't feel comfortable stepping on your running board to keep them out, you can push this button here and it will deploy them on both sides. Most guys know this, but you know, hey, if you didn't know, well, now you know. Now this point, was not on my list, but I figured I'd show it to you. If you go under settings, comfort and convenience, you guys will see reverse tilt mirrors. Now you can obviously set it up for the driver's side or the passenger side or both. I have it up for both. Now, if you put the truck in reverse, it will allow the mirrors to go down like you just saw, right? And if you're backing up like this and then you stop, the mirror will actually go back up. It takes it a little bit of time. It will go back up for you and I don't know how it does it. I don't know when it does it. It will just do it for you. And I think it's when you like you kind of like are just staying still. There it is. So there it goes. I don't know how to make it do it automatically, but it's nice that it will allow it to go back up. Because then if you need to see further back, then boom, it'll go up for you. So I do like that the mirror does that. And it's a nice function that I did not know about. That will complete the video. I hope you guys liked it. There's a lot of other features on these trucks, guys. These were the ones I wanted to show you. There's probably hundreds of them that I didn't go over, but you know, these are the ones I felt were gonna be important to some either new prospective buyers or people who just bought these trucks. And we are gonna be going on a trip. We have a travel trailer. I'm not gonna be using a weight distribution hitch. And the reason why is I don't feel like I need it. And if I'm wrong, I will tell you guys I'm wrong. Don't ever get it twisted. I am A-OK -okay to be wrong. And so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys can see my impressions because I'm going to be getting some footage of us towing. My wife doesn't know this yet, but she's going to be towing too because I'm not driving the whole way this time. When we had the fifth wheel, I always drove, but this time around, I think she'll be good with this one. And I'll be able to know whether she feels comfortable with this truck and trailer without the weight distribution hitch. This truck's for sale, and I have a couple guys who are getting kind of serious about it. So... If it's not sold by the end of the year, I'll probably take it off for a little bit because I'm probably going to buy something next year and I could just use this as a tax credit because, hey, you know, this is like $80,000 plus dollars. And basically, I can, if I buy a $50,000 or $70,000 car, I'm going to pay taxes. So there's that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your bell notifications are on and be sure to like the video. Like, I know that sometimes you guys forget, but like the video if you haven't done so yet and be sure to like them moving forward. Peace. All right, so bonus round. 
my wife's gonna turn on the fog lights here. So did you guys see what just happened? When you turn the fog lights on without the headlights, it dims down your daytime running lights and it turns on your clearance lights and the rear lights. The lights of the mirrors are on too right there. And I thought that was pretty cool that GM did that. If you do the same thing with the Chevy trucks, it does the exact same thing. That's the last thing I want to show you. Peace.